Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Deadcore Plus series. As you can see by the bottom right, I've updated Hippocac. Apparently there's been an update out for like two weeks that I didn't update. I was complaining in like the last episode or episode before. Hey, this Dominic doesn't work. And apparently it got fixed ages ago. So anyways, um, do 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 do. Mastema? We've not played regular Mastema for a little bit, I don't think. Let's give him a, let's give him a try. Where, where are you, my, my good old buddy? Good old buddy, old pal. Um, can I remember the code? Every time I forget what it is, it's che. No, it's Mastema Marks. Yes, yeah, so there you go. Isaac Blue Baby. Okay, we have ourselves a destination. This guy is the Devil Delio Man himself. I love him. He is precious to me. He is everything that I want to be when I grow up, and by that I mean dead. Now I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded really terrible, but you know. Um, mm, 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 yeah, like that. I like that, and that's the way it is. You are eternal. I don't know what you do, but yeah, I reinstalled all of my mods just to make sure everything's up to date. Along with that, so we'll see. Um, little brim versus random. I I like the idea of random. Torn wings, very fitting for this character. Um, I believe torn wings is we can't get flight, but flight items give us stuff. And there's something else on top of it. I don't remember exactly. Oh god, oh god, oh god. If only we had Encyclopedia on. I'd love to, but honestly. Laggy mod. Laggy mod. Same with the um, completion marks for modded characters. Although I will be using that soon when it comes around to the Nuzlocke, so hey her. Um, right, I'll pop that. Oh, Ooh, no, no, no. We have some bad speed in the his house right now. Some bad speed in the his house. Oh lord, oh lord, oh lord. Um, for the question of the day, I might have asked this before, maybe not this exact version of this, but I'm gonna go ahead and ask it anyways because it's on the top of my mind. What's something that like you have had before, but you try not to have too much because you know it's something you can totally get yourself addicted to? And I don't mean like actually addicted, I mean like as in like you know that if you head down that spiral once more, you will probably end up eating or drinking or taking or whatever it is way too much of it way too often because definitely there's a few. I've, I've I've mentioned quite a few times on my channel now that I've recently had a major cutback on my caffeine intake, but I have been having uh, Coca-Cola recently, which has ca not a lot of caffeine in it, but it does have caffeine in it, but I'm finding myself wanting Coca-Cola a lot more often than normal, which I'm not normally a huge fan of it, but recently, I don't know, I've really got a taste for it, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's because of the caffeine, most likely, um, so <laughs> I'm trying to make myself cut down on it, because it's it's really not too good. But another thing I've mentioned many a time on this on this series, on this channel as well, is for me, that is incredible. That is is incredible. So our HP is gonna be so good. From here on out, our HP is gonna be in a really good spot. But also we're gonna get devil deals on the actual boss itself, which I think is gonna be fun too. Um, but yeah, uh, another thing I've mentioned on the channel quite a few times is gambling. That for me, I've never ever like gambled in real life. I've never so much as bought a scratch card because I know like, I've seen, I've seen my dad and my granddad, I've seen what they're like with gambling. It's not as if it's ruined their life or anything, but they have thrown a decent amount of money away gambling. Which, to be fair, my dad's always said that, like, it's always for fun. He, like, goes in knowing, with he goes in with an amount of money he's okay with losing. He's never let it, like, ruin his life or, like, thrown away way too much money sort of thing. But, he has, uh, he, he definitely said that... If he, ha if he was a millionaire, he'd almost definitely lose most of it on gambling because he'd just want to gamble with it. Because um, if you have more money than you can than you can realistically spend, other than giving it away, he's like, yeah, just just uh, just gamble it all and see what happens. Because <laughs> if you make more, you can just gamble with it again. <laughs> just I don't know. I kind of I kind of I, I do get the idea behind that, and I I wouldn't say I support it, but I also I really understand the reasoning behind it. So yeah, that's that's always been one thing for me that I feel like would be a real vice for me, if especially if I was in a bad place emotionally, gen like in in my life. I was if I, if I was in a bad place and I got into uh, gambling, I feel like that could really, 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 really spiral quite heavily out of control, um, quite quickly. So what what did we see in our um, item room? Did we go into our item room? We didn't. I don't know why. Maybe I, I don't know. 
Um, okay, so we got another book, which is kind of nice, but I honestly think I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that for now. Death card, I'll just take. Um, yeah, and I don't know. It always makes me think of there's a bit on the Office US where one of the characters, Kevin, basically admits that his his fiance left him because he were because uh, he gambled too much. Like there's, there's, there's like little hints all throughout the show that like hint at him being sort of a gambling addict. And then there's like one bit where the I think it's like the Valentine's Day episode where they're talking about their like failed relationships. Oh, what? That was so clutch, I can't believe it. The fact that I didn't pick up any of those pennies until the last chest was such a good idea. Very, very nice trinket, a very powerful one. Um, but yeah, there's a bit where they're talking about like their failed relationships and he admits that his fiance left him and they were like, oh, when did that happen? And he's like, oh, I was just at the table and I just said, oh, we don't need money, do we? Big heck, I always forget this character. Although, no, I was gonna say you can buy actives, but we don't need an active. Restock's pretty useless for us as well, damn it. I mean, it's still, at least we have a use for money now with the, uh, with the wisps coming in. I don't really care if I lose them. I'm gonna gain them back pretty quickly. I'm actually more than happy to, uh, to kill them with my wisps. Kill them with my wisp shot. Burn it. Nah, nah. Do, 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 do. But yeah, he, he sat at the table. He, he said he, he was sat at the table and he's like, oh, I think this football team are gonna, are gonna win it all this year. And then she just left me and I was like, oh. I like, it's so sad, but it's like at the same time, I think it's a, a hint at like his gambling addiction. Starts with no charges. That makes this effectively useless, unfortunately. That would have been a really, really cool um, thing to get if we had a way to charge it. Really cool, but unfortunately not. Brother Bobby, unfortunately not as well. This is gonna be, we're, we're, we're having, we're having ourselves a, a little bit of a light item moment here, but Things can spiral out of control quite quickly. I feel like this is a character I often get the anarchy. Excuse me? I did not expect him to fire. No, 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 no. This is not okay. This is not okay. D dude. This guy's some fat BS. Not a, not a big fan of this. Dude, this guy's insane. Is this, this, I think this takes the cake for Hardest Eternal. I can't get out the way of all of this crap. I, I, th I think, to be fair, one of the reasons I'm struggling so much is because I have relatively low speed. I think that is definitely uh, making things more problematic. Uh, <laughs> but still, that was, that was a little tricky. That was a little bit tricky. We got an astral room, whatever you want to call them. The Heaven's Call Planetarium challenge room things. We could maybe give that a go. Although... With our current health and item setup, I'd probably say it's not the best idea right now. Ooh, look at that new machine. We'll see what the item is. Also, we'll see if the item costs us. Did not mean to use the death card there, if you can't tell already. It doesn't, and it is a very good item. I'm going to do it just because I have a lot of very high power bombs. Was I a bit, I was a bit quick to the draw with that bomb then, wasn't I? Okay, we can kill this guy extraordinarily quickly if we're... Uh, if we're lucky with our bomb placements here. I need, I need one more bomb. Are you pissing and shitting on me, sir? Thank you. I would rather you didn't. Thank you for the poop rain. Okay, let's just leave and then come back in so it stops. <laughs> Thank you. I don't think the poop is going to do anything for us, but I feel like I should pick it up anyways. Anyways, that was uh, that was good. We, uh, we got piercing there. I think that's good. I think if I hadn't had the bombs that I have and the amount that I have of them, that wouldn't have even been something I'd be willing to try. Interesting that this room can spawn us this character. Also, a genuinely very good item. We very desperately needed the speed. Thank God uh, Sagittarius gave us a bit of speed as well. And the, uh, the dog's bark is very, very nice for finding secret rooms. It's not perfect, there's definitely better options out there. But in a room like this, for example, it's, I wouldn't say it's certain, but it's very likely it's at the back. Sometimes I'm wrong. Okay, there you go. I'll take this pill, why not? Speed up, tears down. Pretty annoyed by the tears down. 
pretty annoyed by the tears down. Does this thing give you a one-to-one -one ratio on wisp to coins until you get a full sweep? Because if that's the case, that's insane. That needs to chill. Because that is very, very strong. Anyways, we have an obscene amount of money we can do nothing with. Probably my only big gripe with this character is money. Money, I wouldn't say it's useless because obviously there is beggars and stuff. But the fact that you can't use shops or anything is a little bit sad. Um, also, secret room's definitely here. Can get into the uh, thingy room from here too. It double charges them both. Are you kidding me? I was like, ooh, I wonder which one it's going to double charge. No, no, no. It double charges them both, baby. What makes you larger? Infested. Ooh, guppy. What makes you larger, of course, isn't something we want, but I will take it. Do we even want to bother going into the shop? I just, I'm trying to see a situation in which there's something I'd want, and I can't really see it. Ooh, I would very much like a, another bomb after this room, please, because there is a tinted rock there. I very much like a fire rate increase as well. I'm very, very sad that I uh, that I took a, a big fat L with a fire rate down. Got to the point where my speed is no longer a problem. That's good. But a size up and a fire rate down. Got to admit, not super happy about those. Ooh. Unfortunately, not having a bomb for this boss is horrible. Especially with a size up. I got to say, this boss is a real, real problem. But, but we do have piercing, which makes him significantly easier because... The balls don't just block all of our shots. We're probably going to get hit at least once during this fight. Once once the three balls are unleashed, it's a little bit tough to not get hit. Especially when he instantly goes back to being invincible again. Dude, can you stay up for more than a microsecond, please? Would be real fantastic. Ooh. So, Wrath is, Wrath is just uh, a must take. I know it gives us three broken hearts, but it's such a fun item. Celtic Cross, unfortunately, we are being ultimately quite let down. Quite let down right now. I probably should have done Mega Satan as well. I haven't done Mega Satan yet. We're being ultimately quite let down by the um, the results that we're getting from my Angel deals here. We're looking for something with a bit of spice to it. Maybe I should just be going for Devils. I don't know. I don't know. But Wrath, in case you haven't seen it, is real cool. Essentially, whenever we uh, fire a shot at an enemy, it will fire out a secondary shot for, I think, 30% damage. Oh, damn. I'm taking some bad hits right here. But I think it's about 30% damage that will basically refire onto nearby enemies. Um, and it, by the looks of it, does adopt tier effects too. So, didn't think it did, but that's pretty nutty. I have let the dev know that I think this is a bit spicy. I think they have done a few small changes to it, but I don't know if they're live. I don't know if those changes are actually in the version I'm using, because essentially the developer, for those of you that don't know, I've mentioned it a bunch of times, but Something Wicked is a mod that will be available at some point. I'm just, the developer isn't comfortable with releasing it yet. They're not happy with where it is. They want to add more to it or sort of t tweak things that are already in it and just kind of being a, a perfect te test subject for now sort of thing. Um, I can't believe it. It's literally one-to-one -one ratio. That's nutty. Um... Yeah, and, and so it will be out at some point, but I think the developer wants to add quite a few more bits and bobs, which a lot of them have already been sprited and added to the game. So should be coming relatively soon, but I don't want to promise anything because I've said that quite a few times already and it's been months now. <laughs> but at the same time, I don't want to pressure the developer to release anything because I really would rather they just take their own time with it and release it when they feel comfortable with releasing it because it's, a, it's already a very good mod and it's only going to get better if they take their time. But yeah, it's one of those items where I feel like it's kind of rich gets richer sort of style. What is it that's making us drop coins when we get hit, by the way? I don't know. I really need to be careful with my current health right now. Um, yeah, it is very much rich get richer. Because, like, when you've got low fire rate and, like, not very good damage or tier effects, it's kind of meh. It doesn't do too much. But as soon as you get to the point where you have some crazy tier effects or really high fire rate or whatnot, it becomes kind of insane. I, 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 I fucking hate these rooms. God damn, those rooms are so frustrating sometimes. I mean, they're not too bad. It's just that it's, it's the same as enemies in the vanilla game that have like iframes, like the hearths and stuff. It's just frustrating to have to sit there and wait for the game to basically like do something completely out of your control. 
You can just be a little uh, a little frustrated to sit around. So we don't know how much health we have to play with here, but I reckon we're pretty safe to just grab whatever's there. Oh, we got um be the, the bean boy. Do you know what? That's a pretty big cloud. I'm happy to have you on board. I'm happy to have you on board. That is quite quite the stank you're producing there, my good fella. My good guy. I will take you on board and be very happy for it. Okay, so we do have a secret room. Okay, so wait. The secret room's definitely... Wait, oh, wait, wait. One second, one second, one second. Was it... Did it howl in here? It did. Okay, so the secret room's most likely here then. Good. Because it intersects. We don't need the soul of uh, Samson, really. It's not too important to me. We'll check the shop now this time around because we do have um, golden keys, but I don't think it's that valuable to us to check it. Crack that open. Beautiful. Quite a lot of very good stuff there. Oh, I mean, this is kind of worthwhile if we get... Let's see if we get Steam Sale. We don't need Steam Sale. What am I about? I suppose the money's valuable just for getting more um, more wisps, I guess. Why do we get a damage up there? What what was that from? I'm confused. I used my uh, my active and it made a noise and gave me some damage, and it put my damage to exactly six six six. I have no idea why. But yeah, today I've had a I've had a pretty chill day. Um, damage for the current floor. So that's what that did. We had that yesterday, and I couldn't work out what it did. That's what that does. Unfortunately, yet again, not an item we want. Honestly, item-wise, we're not doing too too hot. I think Wrath is our best item right now. Uh, probably Piercing is, is second there. But I'm, I'm just going to accept it for what it is. We're doing fine. We're doing well enough. Just I feel like if we don't get some good stuff in the next few floors... This, this run's going to struggle a little bit when it comes to the womb and that. But the one good thing that we've always got is we are very, very rarely going to struggle for HP, which is normally what you do struggle with with this character. So I'm pretty happy to say that that's not going to be of, of a, too big of an issue for us, which is really nice. I'm kind of trying-ish... I say that when I'm dying a lot at the minute, but I'm trying to play really well at the minute just to get myself in the mindset for the Nuzlocke because I do need to play exceptionally well. And recently, I've not been playing exceptionally well. Do you know what? I'll take your birth. Why not? Two ghosty items. Wait. Do you know what? I just realized what it is. We got the damage up and flight from the uh, transformation. That's why we're white now. If you get, I think it's like 10 Eternal Hearts in a run or something like that, it's from the Eternal Champions. But we have the Torn Wings item, which is supposed to negate any flight that you get. Obviously, it hasn't... It doesn't have a checklist for transformations, maybe, or this transformation specifically. And so it's having an issue processing that, and it, we are still given flight, even though we have an item that specifically bars us from gaining flight from any source. We have managed to trick the game and give ourselves flight anyhow. That's that's unfortunately going to be the case sometimes with mod interactions. They're not always going to be perfect. There's always going to be some niggles. Um, some, some little things that don't quite work as intended. It's all part of the, part of the experience, I guess. But yeah, so this time I'm going to go Devil Deal. I, I, I feel like going Angel Deal has been... Just not a good call at all. Really? How did you end up over there? Whoa, what is going on with you guys right now? Wiggling all over the place. Now that was a good bomb. Beautiful. And this time we don't even get a devil deal, but we do get shade. Oh yes, we'll take him. What a beautiful, beautiful boy. Anyways, down we go. <laughs> Shade. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, game. You've got to be kidding me with the shade, boy. It's okay. It's okay. But yeah, after this, I'm going to go and play some Warzone with my friend. 
Um, and then probably some Elden Ring. I, I, I like... I've been having this weird issue. I think I mentioned it in another video. I can't remember if I was saying it in a video or just saying it to like a friend in real life. I can never remember. It all kind of blurs into one, I'll be honest. Um, but I've been having this sort of weird issue recently with gaming in general where I tend to procrastinate playing my favorite games and I don't really know why. Like Elden Ring is a perfect example. Like I basically played like 30 hours of the game in less than a week. I, I absolutely binged the hell out of it, I, and I still love it just as much as I did then, which was like a week ago now, maybe two weeks. I still absolutely love it so much, but in, in like two weeks' time, I've only played it for like six hours. And I don't know why. And I, I feel like I keep wanting to play it, but I keep putting it off. I keep telling myself, oh, I really need to s make sure I have a good amount of time to sit down and play it. Like, a, sort of make sure I'm not busy with anything else. Um, set aside some proper time to play it, you know what I mean? Um, and it kind of is preventing me from actually playing it. And I keep just kind of procrastinating it. And I like it's not because the game's too hard for me or anything. I've kind of gotten past that point now where I'm a little over level, so which is good because I'm not very good at the game yet. So being a little over level is making the game more enjoyable because I'm not struggling as much. Um, and yeah, it's it's weird, and I, I don't know why I'm doing it. And I'm doing it with a lot of games right now. Like I really want to play Red Dead Redemption at the minute. I bought it in the summer sale, but I mean I'm still yet to even install it because I'm just like. I, I don't want to start playing it because it's such a big commitment sort of thing. And it's like, I, I already have so much going on. I already, like, so much of my time is already committed to other things. I'm kind of like, do I really want to install that and commit the time? But I, I really do. I know that I do. I know it's a great game and I, I do thoroughly want to play it. Does anyone else have that? It's a really strange thing. It's kind of like gaming fatigue, maybe, where you're just kind of like, you're not tired of a game and you're not particularly tired of gaming itself but you just kind of can't pluck up the courage to actually sit down and play something so you end up just kind of mindlessly scrolling through youtube and watching random crap and that includes my videos if you're watching <laughs> and have this issue now i don't mind if you call my videos random crap in fact i'd, I'd take it as a compliment um, yeah, like, do you, do you find yourself doing that a lot where you're, like, actually, like, you get home from school or work, whatever, and you're, you're kind of hyped to play a game, but instead you just find yourself, like, watching TV, and then watching a bit of YouTube, and then doing some chores, and then by, by then it's, like, it's, like, 10 o'clock, and you're, like, eh, well, if I play it now, I can only play it for, like, an hour and a half before I have to go to bed. Dude, stop with this item room. I mean, Tiny Krampus is a devil deal item, so, and we got conjoined out of it, so I'm, I'm not actually too displeased, but still. Um... Yeah, and I don't know, it's, it's really strange. It's a very, very peculiar feeling to have. I'm not, it's like, I am doing it on purpose and I realize I'm doing it, but I'm not doing it on purpose. Like, I'm not purposely trying to not play my games, but I, I, I kind of am. And I, I really don't know why. And it's only kind of been a, been a thing for me recently, too. Um... I know this seems like a really huge waste, but I think for Bookworm, that's kind of worth it. Like, considering we just got conjoined, Bookworm is going to add a bit of extra damage for us. Secret room here. Hello, sir. Ooh. And also, this plus Wrath is, like, good. More, more shots fired is, is always going to be good for us. Yeah, unfortunately, this is the sort of problem I'm talking about. We've got to 99 cents and have literally nothing to do with it i don't know how exactly this would be remedied i don't really know um but i feel like there's definitely ways that you could that you could make it so that it doesn't feel this way because it does feel a bit bad and like it, like i said it is the only aspect of this character i dislike everything else about the character is bloody fantastic Yeah, I, I definitely, as I was saying, feel like we needed more items here. Like, we've not really got anything too special going on. And it kind of means that we're lacking a little bit on the DPS. Like, this is a really long mums fight for us. Like, a really long mums fight. God damn. I think it's one of the reasons is because Wrath isn't really getting a chance to do much to mum. Yeah, this is bad going to mean that um, the womb is going to take quite a long while. We are meant to be going to Blue Baby, I believe. Check the devil deal again and hope for the best. Okay.
It's risky, but I'm going to try and play this out a little bit. Down to, like, four hearts. I just want, like, a few damage upgrades. Gabe isn't really not wanting to give me them right now. Okay, there's an A damage up. I'll do it one more. I'll do it one more. Okay, not particularly lucrative for us. Not particularly lucrative, but we head down to the next floor. Obviously, coming down to this floor with exceptionally low health now. But as long as we don't get hit three times pretty quickly, we should be able to remedy that fairly fast. And honestly, I do think that room clearing wise, we've actually got quite a lot of power because Wrath is Wrath is going to be getting shots out pretty consistently here. So we don't really need to worry about that. And as well, most of these rooms are going to be pretty easy for us. Just a brimstone boy. Born and resin mum's womb. Ugh. Strange. What a strange sentence slash parody of a song. Um, nah, that doesn't really, doesn't really help us right now. Sadly as well, we are, I was just about to say, we're having an extreme lack of bombs. But we are, we, we, we got one then as soon as I, uh, said that. Turned everything into blue flies. It's kind of decent. Kind of need a room where it's a bit more valuable. Probably a large room. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Hopefully there's enough enemies in this room to make it worthwhile. That there is. Pentacles. That's my voice. Oh, hell. I definitely want to re-record... Oh, go away. This boss is horrible. I definitely want to re-record those uh, voice lines with a bit more um, roughness to my voice. But I need to get a cold first. <laughs> and that's what I did the first time around. I, re I recorded them all because I, I had a cold. And it made it made my voice sound really gruff. Abaddon. Abaddon. -de -dun -dun -dun. I think Abaddon is worth it. And then... Devil deal again. That is literally free. So we'll take that. Okay. Not so bad. Not so bad. Doing a little better. Not not amazingly. Doing a little better though. Yeah, I definitely want to re-record over them and make them a little better. I want to learn how to use um like some post-processing on my voice with um audacity or something to make them sound a little more like the actual um Make him sound a little bit more like the actual Isaac announcer voice. Give him a bit more, like, depth to them and stuff. Um, but I honestly have literally zero idea to do that. I played around with, uh, with with Audacity for a while. Had absolutely no idea. So if any of you out there have any idea how to do that sort of stuff, if you're with any with any uh, program, it doesn't have to be Audacity, but if any of you are um, good with that sort of stuff, please shoot me a DM over on my Discord, and it would be really cool to work with you to, like help improve those for the Ipecac mod. Because I'm really like I'm really happy that the Ipecac mod used my uh, my voice with them. But I, I wouldn't say I'm not happy with them, but my first bunch of recordings were significantly better in my opinion. And I would really like to improve them for the Ipecac team if I can. So if anyone out there could help me achieve that, that would be pretty awesome. I'm not expecting anyone to, but I don't know. If you got some free time and you don't mind doing it. <laughs> There is quite a lot of them, so it, w it, um, it wouldn't exactly be a, a small amount of work, so obviously, considering it'd be just like random, unpaid, little tiny project, whatever, I wouldn't expect anyone to want to do it, but if you do, I don't know. It's up to you. Whatever you're feeling, I guess. Do you know one thing that always kind of melts my mind a little bit for like a, for like a half second every time I go to use my active? is so on keyboard that i play on q is for your um q is for your pocket active and space is for your normal active but on the keyboard q is up here and space is down here so like i always associate q with this item and i always associate space with this item because that's where they're placed on the keyboard and i don't know does anyone else ever have that issue like it's a dumb issue because when I'm when I'm playing normally, I know that spacebar 
like when I don't have a pocket active, I know that spacebar is the active button. It just, it just it is and it always has been. But I still have that weird sort of like half second of delay in my brain where I have to kind of correct myself and go, no, 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 other way around, dingus. Weird. I found myself pressing the wrong one quite often. But yeah, as, as I said, HP ended up being absolutely fine. I knew it would be. Uh, also, I do believe Ipecac, um with the latest patch that I just downloaded today. For one, they um, added a bunch of new rooms. Uh, but for two, they also tweaked a bunch of the early floor rooms that I um, that I mentioned were way too hard. Which was they, they they completely agreed with. A lot of them were a bit overtuned. So I'm glad to see that they have uh, they've been tweaked. Some of them are absolutely fine, but others are terrible. Especially if you start as characters like Tainted Eve that have really low fire rate and stuff. I think we're probably better to, better off taking that now. Um, yeah, so really nice to see. Thank you guys over at the Ipecac team. You're very receptive to my feedback. I like that. <laughs> I don't expect every developer to just do what I say or do whatever I suggest. But I feel like when it's an objective bit of feedback like that, where it's like, I, I, what, not objective, but what, one where most people would agree that those rooms are too hard for the first floor, it's nice to see that they're uh, quick to action to, to, to fix those things. You're really thinking, hey, it took them weeks to fix it. No, it didn't. It, it, they, they, they pushed the update actually out pretty quick. I just haven't had the update installed for weeks. Because Steam is supposed to auto-update, and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it just don't. We're not going too badly though. We should be um, on our way to a pretty quick win here actually. We're, we're only at 30 minutes so far. It's always nice. Bit of a speedy beady one. I think like these these um, shorter videos are always a little nicer for me. Because um, for one... Obviously, being able to, like, finish a recording means I have more time to do other stuff or record more videos. But also, I feel like it keeps my commentary energy a little higher for a little longer. When I get, like, a... When I get, like, a sort of longer run, especially if it's, like, a arcy run, then ones tend to drain me a little bit. And, like, by the last sort of, like, 15 to 20 minutes, I find myself lagging a little bit and kind of... Kind of struggling for what to say. Struggling for where to find the words. But these ones that are only 30 minutes, I feel like I always have that, the, the social energy. I was kind of talking to my girlfriend yesterday, a few day, day before, something like that, about like being an introvert versus an extrovert. I mentioned that on the channel a few weeks back and people were saying a, a definition that they've seen very commonly is that, that when you're an introvert, you recharge on being alone. When you're an extrovert, you recharge on being around people or, or doing things. Um, and I have definitely noticed more and more that that is 100% true. I'm actually a fairly social person. I actually quite enjoy... What the hell's going on with my little buddy over here? I actually quite enjoy um, being like being out and around people. But I have a limit. And once I've reached my limit, I need my time alone. Which is one of the reasons I, I so, so much appreciate the fact that I work alone from home. It's like, I, obviously, I love my girlfriend, and I like I, I could spend every second of every day with her, but it is also really nice to have that time apart, like, even if it is just during the day where I'm working, doing YouTube or whatever. It's just nice, and it gives me it gives me a chance to, to have that sort of recharge. And so it kind of means that, like, whenever she invites me out with her friends after work or whatever, I'm pretty much always in the mood for it, because it's like, oh, well, I haven't seen people in a few days. So I'm, I'm actually pretty down to go see people. Whereas some people would think, oh, you're an introvert. You don't want to see people at all. All you want to do is spend home, spend spend time at home all the time. And it's, it's not really that. Like, I, I do enjoy being around people, but I just have a limit. And after that limit, I need to, I need to spend some time on my own to kind of re recharge and regain that, that, like, bar. <laughs> that, that health bar of social energy. It needs to be recharged again. It is, it's, it's a really interesting way of describing it. So, definitely thank you to all the people that kind of gave me that um, gave me that that description because I didn't know about that um, before, and it's it's a really really good way of helping people understand what what sort of introvert extrovert you are. It just it makes a lot of sense, dude. Can you stop hitting my bombs away, please? I don't know who's doing it. It's one of y'all fuckers, and I'm not sure which one of it, which one of you it is. Is it you, Isaac? Are you somehow managing to do that? Because I don't think that's right if that's the case.
That's taking a beating. Ow. I am actually taking quite a bit of damage here. Dude, honestly, Tiny, whatever he's called, Tiny, um, what the hell is he called again? I don't remember. This dude that's doing the X-Beams. Little Krampus, that's his name. He's kind of dog shit. <laughs> he's cute and all, but like, I don't think I've ever seen him actually hit an enemy. Or at least if I have, it's been on very rare occasions. We are getting close to death here. I need to be careful. Um, Like, dude. The eternal version of this guy is an absolute ball sack. Like, dude, what was that? Why didn't you... Why didn't you use the cross beam while you are diagonal to the enemy? Come on now. Wow. <laughs> That's some good stuff. Especially the fire rate up there. Ooh, damn. More of the void triggers wrath. Beautiful. So yeah, when we fire more of the void, we get a ton of damage from that, but then a ton of damage from the tears it decides to throw out as well. And we can get real close up to enemies because of side fly too, so we're in a good spot here. We're in a good spot. Back when we walk into enemies, but we'll ignore that. Okie dokie, my artichokey. Taken down. Look at that. <laughs> All the tears just go back and around to him. Got him. Like then, I pressed Q. Look at, look at Haunt's little face. That's so cute. I love this reskin of Horn. Looks so good. Such a cute reskin. And I say these these like cartoony reskins are just really, really high quality. They're really good. They just fit the game so damn well. We're somewhat pummeling our way through. We're getting there. Ragmans are taking a little bit of a beating, but we're getting there with them. Are you not... Are you, are you gonna... There you go. That's a bit weird. Unfortunately, we went a lot of the wrong ways there. That's a... Uh, that's a Dominic right there that's uh, doing his own thing. He's very much doing his own thing. Okay, good. I think health-wise, we're probably fine. Like, we're killing stuff so fast, we should be getting charges faster than we're getting hit. Go away with that BS, my dude. Get out of here with it. Don't want to see it. Especially when we get the invincibility, we can get really up in their face. That allows us to do a lot. Lots of haunts. Lots and lots of haunts. Don't know what's going on with all of them, but they are showing up like crazy. Let's be a little careful about getting close here just because of the amount of bomb flies they're going to spawn. Okay, good to go. Sadly, we're going the wrong way an awful lot at the moment. Horsey go fly fly. Good, good. Yeah, I hope this guy covers off some of the other bosses as well. He's covered off a lot of them, to be fair. Quite a lot indeed. Okay, we are up to max HP now. Or what our, what our max HP is, at least. There's another stain somewhere around here. Hello, hello. Thank you for being a dick.
Damn it. Every which wrong way we can go. Come on. It's so frustrating. Okay, good. And then on to Blue Baby. Okay, Blue Baby's got a Resprite too. He looks a bit more dead. I'll, def I'll definitely say that. Dude... Definitely ripping through him today. Not more than usual. Holy hell, there you go. Either way, I hope you guys didn't didn't did enjoy Book of Jubilee. It's a great item. Yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.